Hey, it's Lynn Saxberg reporting for OttawaCitizen.com. I've been at Blues Fest every night so far, and um, we're heading into the last weekend of it. We've I've got with me Chris Cobb, who's also writing for the paper. He's been covering mostly comedy, but also on site every night. And uh, we're going to talk about a few of the highlights, maybe a couple of disappointments, and my big pet peeve for this year's festival. Move on, pet Chris. peeves. Me, I hate the tent. <laughs> You talk about the tent. Well, we, we, I should say that we, Lynn and I, have experienced this tent in different ways. I've seen pretty well. Well, I've seen all of the comedy so far, um, um, and very little of the music. And Lynn. And I've seen no comedy and a lot of the music. And I, the Black Sheep stage is historically known for, um, you know, a great outdoor scene. People recline on the hill here, watch the, the sounds always fantastic. There's always these really interesting groups, a lot of them from a far, from far away that never come here. And people will be walking around the site and they'll discover something and sit down and watch it. And, you know, lots of people get up and dance. And I think the tent is just destroying that vibe for the Black Sheep stage. Um, I've been, I've seen quite a few shows there where there's only been a few dozen people at the most and I think that's really disappointing for the acts who have come a long way, although they've played really well, like Ethiopique was great, Kululush was good, Too Slim, Too Slim and the Tail Draggers last night were really good too, but those are groups that um, people don't know about so they didn't find them, but if it was a group or an act where it already has a following in Ottawa. It seemed they, the cra their fans found them. And uh, Baja Bulat is a good example of that. That concert was packed and Planet Smashers too. I was on the bus with four other people from my neighborhood and we all ended up at the Planet Smashers show. Oh, wow. So um, yeah, so I'm disappointed in the tent. And then, you know, it could have been a good place for a quiet music and sort of create a new vibe over there. But, and that would prevent the sound bleed problem that's been happening on some of the other stages, but that wasn't how the programming went either, so. So if, you, if, if anybody's looking to, um, to uh, go out of Blues Fest 2010 uh, uh, with um, uh, rocking, then Fog Hat would be the place to be. Or come dance in the tent. <laughs> you in the tent. <laughs>